The bottom end of the jigsaw quality street tub A65 engine is back together now apart from I haven't fitted the primary cover because I still probably will wish to turn the engine by hand and I can put a spanner on the end of the alternator and that to do that but other than that all that lot there is back together and ready to go and um, I'm going to move on to the cylinder head next this rather official looking number I noticed that was uh, etched onto the underside of the cylinder barrels as well and it's also on the cylinder head there very important and uh, efficient looking but um, we've got the cylinder head all the valves are out needless to say even the inlet manifold's been taken off I mean if you're stripping down an engine because it's making noises well your inlet manifold's going to be the cause isn't it you know after all any fool knows that um, right on this side we have to sort of play guess which valve went where obviously there are two exhaust valves and two inlets so that narrows it down to 50 50 sort of chance i suppose and i dare say that with a little bit of uh, experimentation and perhaps dropping the valves in and using some clutch and brake cleaning solvent i might find out which combination of fitting holds the uh, liquid in the best and doesn't allow stuff past so much so that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to have a stab at getting the valves see what sort of condition they're in and how well they seat once i sort of work out or hopefully work out which one's going to go where and i'll check their fit in the guides and everything as well it's sort of uh i don't know what's been going on here whether there's been someone's fallen out with somebody else or there's been a breakdown in communication or here yeah, are have your engine back it's all in bits and it's all just chucked anywhere see how you get on with that well uh it's my job to work it out and um yeah <laughs> that's all we've got left in the quality street tub now i'm going to work my way through these valves get them sorted and um hopefully it won't be too long before we'll have the cylinder head back together i'll grind the valves in if they need it and um yeah we're on the home straight with this engine by the looks of it at last Right, I've come up with an interesting one here with this um, BSA A65 cylinder head. And I won't be worrying too much about which valves go where initially, but I may have found what the owner was describing, the noises that he reckoned he heard coming from this engine. As the crank went away and got checked and did have a regrind, but to be fair to it, it was only half a thou, I think I was told, under the minimum. Uh, for the size it was on so it wasn't in bad shape but seeing as it was all apart we had it reground went down to the next under size just in case but it's unlikely that was making a racket but um, I've just been trying the valves in the cylinder head and in the guides and interestingly enough we've got whether the camera will pick that up perhaps if I shine the light on it as well quite a lot of play there between the inlet valve and its guide hear that noise it's making waggling around in the guide and in a similar sort of way the other one is as well that's very very sloppy and could well those two could well account for quite a lot of noise slamming and clattering around Interestingly enough, the um, exhaust valves are a much better fit in their guides. I'm not going to worry about them. There's a little bit of play there. You want a little bit of play in your exhaust valves and between your exhaust valves and guides because they get so much hotter. But that is not alarming. Um, but the, the play on the inlets, usually you'll find that the inlet valves are a tighter fit in their guides than the exhaust valves but this is very much the other way around that's a hell of a lot of play so we're definitely going to be looking for two inlet valve guides at the very least i think i can probably clean this lot up and um, identify which exhaust valve went where 
perhaps give them a quick grind in and fit them so that's two out of the way um, and this lot would also explain the oiliness actually because the pistons thinking about it now were all what residue was on the crowns was black and oily and there wasn't any carbon stuck to them I don't think that they were decoked I think the oil coming down these guides has been washing those piston crowns clean and also the uh, same has been happening to the combustion chambers they're so wet and oily that carbon hasn't been able to stick to them so um, saved a bit of work on a decoking front but I need to get them sorted out new inlet valve guides at the very least um, I'm going to crack on with these exhaust valves now because I'm happy that they're okay they're a reasonable fit in the guides so uh, I'm not alarmed about them in any way I'll get them done out the way and see if I can get some inlet valve guides and hopefully put these two right but that could well be a source of the noise that the owner was uh, complaining about originally we're just getting back to these exhaust valves and um, identifying or trying to identify which one came from where I think I've got them the right way around as it happens and I'll tell you why if we look in this um, side of the cylinder head in that exhaust port that is very very wet and oily looking as is the back of the um, exhaust valve there and if we look in this exhaust port it's quite a lot drier looking the exhaust valve is still looking quite oily but not as wet quite as this one so I'm gonna say that the wetter looking valve came from the wetter well the wet exhaust port because that one's pretty dry but obviously both inlet valve guides have been letting quite a lot of oil get sucked through and into the combustion chambers and then blown out again through the exhaust ports but um, this inlet valve also was the one that had the most play by some margin in its guide so all that lot ties in so I think I found out which exhaust valve comes from where I'll get things cleaned up see if they need grinding in a bit and um, get them fitted that at least is another step in the right direction right well I've been grinding the uh, first exhaust valve in after cleaning it up I polished it up in the lathe and um, I've been grinding it with fine grinding paste for about just five minutes really and it's it's seating all the way around I expected it might because it was all but holding the uh, clutch and brake solvent under its own weight before I even started grinding it in so I knew the seating was pretty close there's one or two black spots there which are well pits or burns even in the valve seat so I'm just gonna give it another 10 minutes or so just to try and sort of ease them a little but it probably it would hold compression now but uh, I'll see if I can just reduce the size of those black spots there which are uh, areas of slight pitting or burning and uh, just clean them up a little and um, then I think I'll have it good to go right, this is after another 10 minutes or so with the fine grinding paste and incidentally when I got the grinding paste I rub it onto the uh, seating face of the valve and then um, put it on the suction stick and put it in place in the valve seat ready to grind I also give a little just a spray just a drop of WD-40 mixed in with it makes the uh, valve spin much faster and more freely and speeds up the job quite a lot anyway another 10 minutes or so has made me feel a lot happier with that seating the black spots haven't completely gone but they're greatly reduced in size now and uh, that's a good seating I'm happy with that so I can put that exhaust valve in and then crack on with the next one right well here I am with the what will be when the heads the right way up the right hand exhaust valve and seat and I've ground them in as well these took a little bit longer and actually took a while before it started to make any decent contact at all around this area here which sort of implied to me that the valve 
seat itself might have been slightly out of step with the valve and the, um, the guide possibly but uh, it wasn't by much and a little bit more grinding than I had to do on this one took care of it and we got good seating all the way around on that one now so uh, I'm going to fit this valve next and that will be the two exhaust valves done and like I said earlier I'll have to deal with the uh, inlet valve guides and possibly even the valves themselves because I've noticed there's a bit of wear on the stems there on those um, but we'll be halfway there shortly when I've got this valve fitted so that's a bit more progress and of course we've got the engine bottom end built up to there so um, I'm pretty happy with what we got there at the moment and uh, we're definitely on the home straight now.